Stop taking a GLP-1 and start taking a GLP-1 GIP like Zepbound or Trazepatide. What's up? My name is Kasha Royo, aka That Girl with PCOS, and today we're talking about sleep apnea, baby. So you're chalking up your snoring, your dry mouth, waking up gasping, your grogginess, your fatigue, and your major headaches throughout the week to PCOS. Have you ever thought that it might just be sleep apnea, which is a symptom of your PCOS? While PCOS has a lot of symptoms, I want to make sure that we're putting the right symptoms with the right category so that way we can get healing in the areas that we need it, like obstructive sleep apnea. This is for the mouth breather. And hey, no shade, because I'm a mouth breather too. So if you are snoring in the middle of the night and you're waking up tired, groggy, fatigued, headaches, you probably stop breathing in your sleep multiple times and you don't even realize it. You're thinking you're getting six to eight hours of sleep because you are not awake, but you stop breathing. And as a girly like me who wears a CPAP machine, yes, I am very proud about that CPAP machine because baby, it saved my life, okay? I get so much quality rest and sleep and I don't have to panic or have anxiety over it. We are gonna talk about trazepatide, which is a GLP-1 with many studies showcasing that taking this medicine has actually slashed sleep apnea by 60%. Yeah. GIP in this trazepatide also helps with inflammation, obesity, insulin resistant issues, and blood pressure. So make sure you're seeing a sleep specialist to see if you have sleep apnea and if that's what's causing all of these problems for you throughout the week. You're not just a tired girl with headaches, baby. There's always a reason for it. And talk to your primary care and see if trazepatide would be the next best step for you to conquer all of your issues with your sleep apnea and all of your issues with your PCOS, babes. Love you.